Hello everyone and welcome to this week's scripting quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can identify files and folders on your file system. Normally you could identify these different types of things by checking if it has a file extension or say maybe it's a folder if there's no file extension, but sometimes folders can have periods in them and sometimes files don't have extensions. So with this script, we're going to take an input root folder or our desktop, get all the files and then sort out what each thing is inside of it, whether it's a file or if it's a folder. Before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link. Make sure you also follow us there for coding updates. And in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not a member of our Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And if you'd like to help support the channel and get cool perks like badges and Discord status, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. So to get started, I'm going to open a new script and I'm going to create something, a variable called root folder. This is going to be our base folder where we search for all the things within it. There might be folders and files within it. I'm going to make this a folder and this folder is going to be my desktop. Okay, that's pretty simple. Now we need to basically get a variable for all the files within it. Now when I say files, this means folders and files. So I'm going to say root folder .get files. Now if I go ahead and alert files, and I'll also alert files.length, you can see we're going to get a big list of all of the files and folders on our desktop, as well as how many there are. Perfect. Now let's loop through these so we can go one by one and check if it's a file or a folder. So to loop through any array, we're going to start with var i is equal to zero. i is less than our files.length, increment i by one. Now if I go ahead and say write line files i, it's going to write down each one of the files as it gets to them. Now what we want to do is basically check if it's a file or a folder and then tell us the name of that and whether it's a file or a folder. So first, how do we check if something is a file? Well, we can normally check if it has like an extension like .txt, .mp4, we can check for that, but there's a much more specific way that guarantees no matter what it's named. We're going to check if files i, the current file, is an instance of a file object. You can see it's going to highlight instance of and file. We can check if things are instance of any kind of object. If you're in After Effects, you could check if something's an instance of a composition or a footage item. In this case, we can check if it's an instance of a file. We're going to also add an else if, although we don't necessarily need to. There's only really two types, but we'll say else if files is an instance of, and you probably guessed it, a folder. We already used the folder keyword up here to define our desktop folder. We can also use it to check if something is a folder. Then we'll simply say uh, right line files i dot name plus is a file. And then we can copy and paste this and put it right here and say is a folder. If we run this, you can see we're going to get a whole list here um, of output mp4 as a file. This particular one is a folder and it's going to tell us which uh, elements are files and folders. Now one thing you might notice is sometimes you get this symbol here where there should be a space. So one common thing we need to do is say dot replace the name. We're going to replace this uh, percent 20 globally with a space. And that's just a common thing when you're getting paths. A lot of times they will resolve spaces as this character. So now when we run this, no more weird percentage sign spaces. It's all going to be spaces instead. That's just a mini extra thing. But you can use instance of file and instance of folder to check whether anything is a file object or a folder object and get a full list and then make changes based on that. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's how to check whether something is a file or a folder in your file system. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can check out this code and try it out for yourself. Make sure you also follow us there on GitHub for coding updates. Also in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not a member of our Discord server, you can join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And if you'd like to help support the YouTube channel, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP and get cool perks. And a uh, link for that is in the description. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.